Hi, my name's Anthony Ward and welcome to this Q&A for 3D World magazine. What we're going to look at today is basically uh, how to quickly transfer weighting information between models on the same skeleton and also models on different skeletons. Now this could be useful for transferring weighting between level of detail models that are on the same rig or it could be a good way to kickstart you weighting a completely different model. You transfer the weighting information from one model on one skeleton to a different model on another skeleton. This gives you the foundations that, where you can then build upon that and tweak the weighting to suit the new model. Now there are some very easy simple ways to tackle this. Um, before I've played around with exporting weighting maps uh, and all sorts of other things which don't really work and they're quite labour intensive. So these options, uh, they're very quick and dirty but they get the job done. So to help us do this and, and uh, show the process we have this soldier character here. Now this is a, a character I created a while ago, he's a low poly character I developed for a uh, company in Brisbane called Defiant Developments uh, and I just want to say thank you to them for allowing me to use this for this demonstration. Now this guy is rigged as we can see, his head moves around. Uh, what I've purposely done, if I turn on the wireframe briefly, is just there's a few vertices under here. Now the weighting does need to be fixed on those but I've kept those like that just so that we can uh, just see how the weighting, how well the weighting transfers across. So I'll just uh, wiggle him around a bit so we can see that he's rigged. There we go, his knees bend and so on. If I just bring back the joints, just rotate his arm. So you can see where he rotates there. There's no deformation under here or if there is a very small amount which just needs fixing but you get the general idea he's pretty much weighted so we want to copy that information to another model let's just turn off joints so also in this scene <coughs> excuse me so we have the first soldier and then we have the second soldier here now this is just a, a very quickly stripped down version of the original soldier. So if you imagine this is a level of detail model, it's got less polygons in, um, it's optimised a little bit more, um, just to uh, just something for us to work with. So this again, just bring back those joints. Again, this has been bound to the same skeleton as you would with a level of detail model. If I move him around, we can see he's got the default weighting. His chin doesn't move there. If we rotate his arm underneath, this sort of armpit area deforms badly. And if we uh, jiggle him around like that, this area here collapses in. So that's just the default weights. So now we're just going to transfer the weighting information from the higher res model down to this LOD model and to do this we need to open up our outliner so we have our soldier one main model and our level of detail model here all we're going to do skin edit smooth skin copy skin weights and these are the options which we have let's just reset those options so basically we have these different um, ways of transferring the weight and information across here. Closest point on surface which basically transfers between the closest points between the source and the target models. Ray casting which uses a sampling algorithm which is uh, which was used in sort of the older versions of Maya. Closest component will just find the closest vertex or polygon um, between the models and use that. In UV space, um, if the models have similar UV layouts, then it will use sort of those um, to transfer the information as well. For, for this, we're just going to use the default closest point on surface. So 
select our source model, destination model as well, click apply and now if we rotate that arm we can see that uh, weighting information has transferred across for us. We've even got that little movement here which we had on the original model. If we go to the head, move this around, we can see the head's moving just like the original model did. And these three vertices under here are in the same place, which is uh, also uh, a mistake inherited from the first uh, model. So you see there, that's very quickly transferring weights from one model to another on the same skeleton. So, what happens if you have a bigger character, a different scale skeleton, and also a different resolution skeleton. So this one doesn't have as many joints in. There's no clavicles, the hands are drastically reduced. Um, so just doing a straight copy from there to there won't work. They're not in the same world space. The skeletons are different. So I may all get confused about what it's trying to do. We can work around this by tricking Maya into thinking they're the same skeletons. Uh, and to do this, we can just snap this skeleton to this one temporarily, copy the weighting across, and then delete this model here. So if this is our key uh, model and skeleton here, this is the one we're focusing on. What you would probably do is have this scene open with him in, referencing this model here, because that skeleton will be redundant. Snap these points on this skeleton to these, and then copy the weighting across. So that's what we're going to do now. But the first problem we get is if we try and move this skeleton here, you'll see all sorts of funky stuff happens. This is because this skeleton is still under the control of the rig. So we need to disable that rig initially. So let's just go to Modify, Evaluate Nodes, Ignore All. And that's just going to basically tell Maya to ignore everything, all the uh, solvers which are being uh, used. So now if we move this, you see the skeleton is completely free of the, uh, of the rig. So let's just turn on the original model, this is the one that we're going to use the uh, weighting information from. If I move this, you can see we've got another issue here, and that's these uh, packs and things here. They're moving twice as much, and that's because they're parented to the root, and they're also being influenced by a skin cluster. But again, that's quite redundant. These are redundant models because this is just in the scene temporarily. So let's just delete those and then it just saves confusion. Now let's turn off the joints, uh, the polygon, sorry, so we can just focus on the joints. And all I'm going to do, hold down V and with my middle mouse button, just snap to the nearest points. Hold down V, snap the knees and the ankle. And you can see this, I'm just doing this very quickly. And obviously if you had lots of these to do, you could always write a quick script which will just track the location of each joint, snap one to the other, copy the weighting information across, save out your scene. And you'll notice I'm only doing the main joints. So I'm leaving the clavicles because they don't exist on the uh, lower resolution skeleton. Snap the head up there. So that's pretty much it. Let's bring back the polygons. So if you look at this soldier here, this is the one that we're going to be transferring the weight into. So if we just hide that, so this is our original one, and as you can see, it's quite broken, but as, a, as I've said before, we're not worried about him because he's redundant, he's going to get chucked out of the scene, we just want his weight and information. So let's bring our, back our model, 
So we select our source, select our destination, skin, edit smooth skin, copy skin weights. And now we can try these different options and see which works best. So closest point on surface, let's click apply. I'm just going to hide the, ori the original skeleton so we don't accidentally rotate the other one. So see, closest point on surface hasn't really worked on the uh, shoulder. And that's because as we've scaled this up, the model is quite is quite thin because it was a smaller model. So all we've done is stretched him out really. We haven't fattened him up. Bring this back. Now even on the head, it hasn't retained that sort of information. So let's try a different one. Uh, because I know these have got similar UV layouts, we could use UV space. Um, and that will work much better in this example. But let's just uh, try Raycast, click Apply. Now that hasn't worked. As you can see, it's just brought all the points down to the root where the uh, original was. So that's no good. And the good thing about this is you can try them and just undo them. Closest component, let's click Apply. See how that's worked. And that's similar to closest point on surface, so it's not it's not done it's put, it's maybe done a little bit of a better job but as you can see we're getting even if it's not perfect weighting we're getting a really good starting point for you to then just go in and tidy up now as I said before I know these have got similar UV layouts so I can use UV space click apply so let's close that down and there you can see, if I hide the original for now, there you can see it's pretty much copied it point for point. And there it's retained that issue with the very original one with those three vertices there. Just check the leg. Here we go, bend that knee. And there, that has copied that weighting across. So, this has just been a very quick, um, short tutorial on basically transferring weighting information uh, between objects on the same rig and objects on a different rig um, with a, a different resolution skeleton. And now, it, like I say, it's very quick and dirty. It's There's nothing complicated about it. But it gives you that weighting information, which could probably save you maybe an hour of painting weights, uh, maybe a little bit less. But it's there, and uh, I just hope it's uh, it's been useful. Um, and uh, that's it for this Q and A.